Today we're heading to the Street Arrow HQ in Cincinnati, Ohio, somewhere I've never been before. But Bryce is a super cool guy, let me stay there for a couple of days. We're taking a vet, we're gonna get a diffuser done on that. I'm super excited, let's go. Cincinnati is about a five hour drive from here, so we'll see how we do. And uh, this thing is actually better on gas than the Jeep, so I'm actually kind of happy that I'm taking this thing. Anyways guys, I'll uh, probably update you along the way, but we're gonna head out soon. As you can see, I got pulled over. Uh, I was going a little fast. I'll update you on what happens. So I ended up getting off without a ticket or any warning or anything. Uh, the cop was really nice. I guess they actually set up waiting for me because someone called in saying that I was driving recklessly, which, you know, I was driving above the speed limit, but I wasn't doing anything crazy. Uh, anyways, for an update, we are about, let's see, an hour away from Cincinnati, or at least where the, I'm going to, and uh, I'm pretty excited to start. I don't know all how much we're gonna get done today, but at least uh, tomorrow will probably be the, uh, majority of the work that's going to be done. Uh, today might just be kind of a trip video, but we'll see. So I just got to Bryce's house in Cincinnati, Ohio. Very nice house. His 350 and then we got his buddy's 370 here. And uh, both pretty awesome. They're both a grid life, both awesome cars, but we got the vet over here. They're just making the template right now. Also just got a phone call that my flares are in off the Greyhound bus. And uh, so as soon as we get in town, we'll be able to mount those on the Crescent as well. day two here in Ohio and uh, since I got in so late last night we were only able to do the template and some major pieces but today we should be finishing it up. I'm pretty sure everything is cut out right now we're just kind of gonna build everything together and then mount it up. I believe this is kind of like the main pile of everything and then over here we have our little uh, diffuser pieces as well. All right. Uh, as we discussed, I am going to do blast pipes, so they kind of built around that, you know, figuring that I'm going to have a different exhaust in the future. Almost there. Final steps. But this looks awesome. Definitely unique for a vet. This thing looks so incredibly aggressive on film. This is so insane. It looks so insane. And then it's good, it, it's pretty decently high off the ground, maybe like six inches. And then uh, obviously the car is not like super low right now, but we'd only be going about an inch lower. So it's good, no scraping that off. But I think any laurel with those fins, I'd probably scrape going like up hills or whatever. You can really tell how off my exhaust is too. It's so bad. 
As you can see, I'm back in my garage after another five hour journey from Ohio back to Chicago. I just wanna show you around this diffuser before you finish this video up. Obviously, uh, the middle was kinda of designed and you know, just all pretty much done by Bryce. I had very little input with that. I kinda of just told him to have free will with that. But I was very specific on what I wanted on the sides. This is kinda of like a generic thing that he does for most cars is this side up. But I told him that I also wanted to do this side down almost at a very similar angle as my side skirt and almost the same exact length. So I think this thing turned out really awesome. I think that it doesn't exactly fit the car right now and that's for good reason because I plan to change up this car a lot soon. It'll look a ton better once the whole car is kind of done in its next like form, I guess. But anyways, guys, uh, I will have all of the links in the description for the company that made the diffuser and all that stuff. So if you want to check them out, check them out. Follow them on Instagram, any of that I'll be posting on there and stuff. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and peace out. Oh, oh, oh.